Well, it seems that no matter what I do to keep things dry around here, Mother Nature has other plans. I thought the tar paper, even though it's technically not roofing felt, we just grabbed a couple rolls of the 30 minute paper or whatever. I thought it would keep the water out at least overnight. I uh, should have put an extra tarp on because there's water leaking through everywhere. So man, it doesn't matter what I do to try and keep this frame dry. It gets wet. Everything gets wet out here. It's just wetness. I knew it was coming, but it's really wet. So now we gotta put a, try and get a tarp up on top of this. Keep the water out. Do that front little porch roof. Get a tarp on that. Put tarps on the walls. We're just tarping everything today. Hide your kids. Hide your wife. We're tarping Jesse. Half. Is that fair? Perfect. Perfect. Perfect pull. You like it when I pull on your pepperoni? <laughs> what are you doing? I'm just trying to fix the drill bit that came out because uh, my Albert doesn't know how to tighten a chuck. But you know, it's all right. Grace, got lots of grace here. Some pounds of peg. Hey, I got, I got something for you. I'm gonna stick that peg in a hole here pretty quick. <laughs> 
Now, let's see if dry dowels will actually go in. I think we got those tarps on. <laughs> I think this is a little bit more than uh, three to five millimeters forecast one. Looking good. Black, black, mother. <laughs> <laughs>
All right, well, we have decided to call it a day. We were hoping to get all four walls, uh, put the ship lap on, but it did not happen. The weather was not cooperating. We had to stop and put tarps on the roof just because the driving rain was blowing in here. Uh, but we got the two walls up and they look flipping gorgeous. Um, and hopefully now that the floor, the floor will be able to dry out, we had to put a tarp on the outside of this wall because the, the wind and the rain really drives in from that angle. So hopefully we'll be able to keep this dry in here and uh, finish up the other two walls another day. Yeah, we just went right over this window. This is going to be cut out later, but I just wanted to leave it closed for now until I have a window to put in there. And I'm going to be hand building these windows as well as the door. So there will be pretty much no store-bought items in this cabin. It's going to be all hand-built windows, doors, floors, you name it. Uh, the only thing I think I'll be purchasing is a wood stove. So needless to say, I am getting excited because the rain is getting really old and having a nice warm cabin to get out of the wind and the weather and to be able to look out at that view is just, it's a dream come true. So I'm getting very excited and very impatient. We'll see you in the next video where I hope to blaze off these other two walls, get this thing buttoned up and start making awesome memories up here. I guess I'm already making awesome memories up here. This is just awesome. See ya. Samurai out.